The Ramby MS Research Foundation is delivering a check for MS Research in an extraordinary way. A 200 mile journey on foot from Northwest Arkansas all the way to Central Arkansas. Little Rock in here to tell us more about it. We've got Aaron, Jason, and Adam. Welcome everybody. Thanks hey. for being here. Good morning. Thank you. For yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us. So first of all, kind of give us an overview of Run the Check and, and how it supports MS Research. Uh, well, the Rampy Foundation started about 12 years ago with um, Joe and Scott, and their goal was just to stay moving and to raise money for, for a cure for MS. And yeah. so they do the TriFest, and they do a gala, and then um, these guys over here had a great idea for how to deliver um, the check uh, to UAMS, which does a lot of research for, um, for MS. Certainly. So yeah. you all developed this we idea, did. Adam and Jason, of running mm -hmm. this check down to Little Rock? Yeah, I, was, I told Scott, I was like, hey, how do you get the check? there he's like well, we just put it in the mail i'm like what if we yeah. just run it there he's yeah. like oh, that's like 200 miles i was like yeah i think we could we could get enough people to get that check down there i thought yeah, it'd be a no cool problem. way yeah. a better way to bring in the community uh raise awareness for ms and so that's kind of was the idea yeah for so sure. adam i gotta ask like what is the is the route do you just run the back roads do you run along the interstate Man. how do people get there? yeah <laughs> at first year i was like so i told scott in october three years ago i was like hey we should run the check and he's like great idea let's do it next month give me tuesday i'm like oh gosh so i put it in google no. maps right and just was like i think this is a decent road it's not on the it's not on 49 sure uh it shouldn't be too busy uh so we just kind of just just Figured showed up that out. day and yeah. just figured it out yeah i love that and obviously the runners are all taking different chunks of the race right what's kind of the big distances are there shorter distances how does yeah. that work out for you yeah, so we'll actually start Sunday, December 1st, with a kids segment this year. So we're running five miles total, one mile segments for the kids, starting in Bella Vista to the square in Bentonville. So they'll do five miles, and then Sunday night, Monday morning at midnight, we'll kick it off with the adults, and they'll run anywhere from nine to about 13 mile segments, um, and we'll go through the pig trail, uh, and then down to Clarksville, Russellville, Conway, ultimately to UAMS, and get there on Tuesday morning, around 9 a.m., and then we have a press conference at 10 a.m. Yeah. So, and there'll be a van following the runners when they're on the main road for safety purposes. Sure. Um, we go uh, seven, eight miles seven per hour, and we just slow, follow them the whole time. The slowest so. route. I was going to ask you, if, how do they get back and run down there? Right like, is it the yeah. van? Do you yeah. give them a lift back up here? Yeah, they'll drive to their segment um, and meet us there, and then I'm in communication with them the whole time, and then uh, we'll drive them back to their car or transport their car to the next segment, and they can head home. And then some of them will be at the press conference with us, Sure. and it'll mm -hmm. be a... Uh, It'll be a good time. So we're trying to double that check. Like yeah. you said, so we have $32,500 check to start with. It's in the baton. Uh, we pass it all the way down, and then hopefully we have $65,000 to give UAMS. Wow. Yeah. So. Could you maybe speak to how those funds will kind of specifically impact that research? Yeah, um, it's really cool the amount of research in, in the last 25 years in um, stopping the disease um, mm -hmm. from progressing. Um, but now that they have that kind of mastered, it's the can we find a cure. And they're um, so close. They're actually in clinical trials right now for wow. a cure for MS and wow. where they can regrow the myelin sheath, which is damaged. And so um, UAMS, and then they donate um, to different hubs kind of around the country that are doing some groundbreaking research. Yeah. Oh, what so does that really mean hopeful. for you specifically? Yeah, so um, I was diagnosed about eight years ago and I was able to jump on medicine immediately um, wow. and I've had no disease progression. Um, our mom had an aggressive form of MS and there was not that medicine available and so she um, unfortunately battled and passed away from it. So I'm really living proof of um, just the advancements, the advancements yeah. Um, yeah, for us. And, and so to find a cure in our lifetime is just so exciting. That'd be amazing. Wow. And it would. On the cusp of it. And mm -hmm. folks here in Northwest Arkansas are contributing. So yeah. Yeah. thank you all for what you're doing. That's yes. amazing. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. lace up those yeah. sneakers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yes, so yes, yeah, cool. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well,